Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A few weeks ago, DxO released a new version of Photolab, Photolab 6. Now many of you probably know that for a few years, there's been a noise reduction feature in Photolab called Deep Prime. Photolab 6 has an improved Deep Prime. They're calling it Deep Prime XD. The XD stands for extra detail. In today's video, we're going to take the same image and edit it with Deep Prime in Photolab 5, then edit it with Deep Prime XD in Photolab 6, then compare the results. I want to see if Deep Prime XD actually does produce an image with extra detail. Now we're going to be working on this image. I have a copy of it opened up now in Photolab 5. It was shot at relatively high ISO. It does have a considerable amount of noise in it. There hasn't been any editing done on this at all. So for both images, I'm not going to, going to do any editing at all. I'm just going to add Deep Prime in Photolab 5 and Deep Prime XD in Photolab 6, then export them, and then we'll compare the export and see if that Photolab 6 image does have extra detail. Now, in Photolab 5, over here on the right-hand panel, you can see there's the DxO denoising technologies, and included here is Deep Prime. Deep Prime only works on RAW files. This is a RAW file. I'm just going to click on it, and there's only one slider. It's a luminance slider right here. Now, I want to try to do this comparison apples to apples, oranges to oranges. So what I'm going to do, instead of just trying to arbitrarily move this slider and try to get rid of the noise. I'm just going to use an auto adjustment. So I'm going to click on this little magic wand tool. It put it at 100 and I don't know if you could see in the video, but it did remove the noise. It did a great job actually. The noise is totally gone. Now I have a copy of this image opened up into Photolab 6. And over here under the DxO denoising technologies, you can see there's D prime XD and there's also D prime there as well. And you may be thinking, well, why do you want both? Well, D prime XD, I mentioned that D prime only works on raw files and that's true for D prime XD as well. Additionally, D prime XD does not work on any Fujifilm raw files. So unfortunately for you Fujifilm shooters, you won't be able to, at least for now, use Deep Prime XD. So this is an icon raw file so I can use it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on Deep Prime XD. Now you'll notice there are three sliders. We have that same luminance slider but we also have a dead pixel slider and we also have this noise model slider. Now again I want to try to make this comparison as equal as possible so I'm going to use auto adjustments where I can. That is with luminance, I'll click on the little magic wand and uh, that put that to 100. And I could see there is definitely no noise. I'll go to dead pixels and I'll click that little magic wand tool there as well. And there's definitely no noise. Now what am I going to do with noise model and what is noise model really? Well, it just kind of gives you different results and I've messed around with it. And to tell you the honest to God's truth, while moving it, I really don't see a difference on my images. And now right now it's at the default location of zero and there is no auto available here. And if I put it, let's say, all the way to minus 100 and let it render, I don't see any difference. And if I go all the way up to plus 100 and let it render, I don't necessarily see any difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this at zero. So that's the default setting for this slider. I'll just leave it right there and let the chips fall where they may. And when we do our comparison, maybe this slider would have made a difference. I don't know. What I recommend you do is download their fully working free trial and try it out for yourself and see if on your raw files, that slider makes a difference. Now I'm going to export this and I don't want to deal with any like JPEG compression. So I'm going to export these as TIFF files. So I'm going to go up to uh, image, then down to export, and then export to disk. Now we're in still, and we're in Photolab 6 still. I'm going to export it as a TIFF, an 8-bit TIFF, to my desktop. Uh, I'm just going to use a resolution of 300 uh, dots per inch. Um, 
we're not going to resize it at all. So I'm not going to enable resizing. So it's going to be the full resolution image. Uh, we're not going to use any presets, no watermarks. We're going to keep the uh, as shot or the embedded ICC profile. And we'll include all the um, metadata and we'll click export. Okay, so that's being exported to the disk. Let's go back to PhotoLab 5. Now here, we again, we have that D-Prime set. It's all ready to go, and I'm going to export this one. We're going to go to Image, and we're going to go to Export, and we'll go to Export to Disk. And again, same settings, TIFF file, 8-bit, uh, to the desktop, we're uh, 300 dots per inch. We're not going to enable any resizing. We're going to use no watermark. We're going to have the ICC profile as shot, and we're going to include all the metadata, and we'll click Export. Now it's exporting that image. Now on my desktop, it should be, once it exports it, there it is, two TIFF files. One says PhotoLab 6, and one says PhotoLab 5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, and then I'm going to open these two images up in a neutral application. Uh, that neutral application will be Lightroom. And in Lightroom, we'll compare them to one another and see if there is actually a difference. Okay, I'm back. I have them both opened in Lightroom. Uh, you can see in the top left, this is the PhotoLab 5 image, and here is the PhotoLab 6 image. And at first blush, uh, if you just click from one to the other, if you look at the body of the bird, if I go to PhotoLab 5, and then I go to PhotoLab 6, you can see it looks to be a little more richer, a little more contrast in the body of the bird in the PhotoLab 6 image. Let me do that again. Here's PhotoLab 5 and then PhotoLab 6. So there definitely is a difference. Now how are we going to compare them? Let me select both of them and I'm going to hit the C key on my keyboard to go into compare view. Then what we're going to do is we'll zoom in on the bird's eye on the DxO PhotoLab 5 image and I'll zoom in on the eye of the PhotoLab 6 image and kind of move them around here and see. Oh, it's really hard to tell. I bet in the video you really can't see this, but the PhotoLab 6 image is sharper, very slightly, very, very slightly. I could see it right in here. If you compare the two, it's just a tiny bit sharper. Uh, let's go to the body of the bird that I was talking about where there looks to be a considerable difference like right in here. So on this one I'll click right there and on this one I'll click try to click in that same area. Maybe here you could see it a little more uh, readily in the video. Now of course in a video I'm uploading this to 4K. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube what I suggest you do if you're not seeing it in 4K hopefully your internet connection is robust enough click on that little gear icon in the lower right hand corner and take it off auto and put it on 4K, you may be able to see this. Uh, the PhotoLab 6 is slightly sharper, uh, but it's very slightly sharper. I can't say that it's like, wow, what a difference. It's just slightly sharper. Now, can you come in with PhotoLab 5 and just use a sharpening slider and make this its equal or the equal to PhotoLab 6? Well, probably you could. So, um, yeah, it's, it's that. It's just slightly sharper, very slightly sharper. So, um, that's that, that's this new deep prime XD that's in PhotoLab 6. So that's it for this video. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>